Hello and welcome to English for You. I'm Seb and I'm Mike. So, Mike, I was doing a little bit of reading、okay. on the internet. Okay, reading's、uh, good. Yes. yes, it is very、That's、good. good.、Yeah. Um, and I was reading about this、uh, this nun called、mm-hmm. Sister Mary Irene Fitzgibbon. Have you heard of that name before? Sister Mary Irene Fitzgibbon.、Mm-hmm. No, I don't think I have. Yeah, it's not that well known a person. Okay, but she did something very very important、okay. in New York in the nineteenth century. From the name, I assume、mm-hmm. she's a nun. She she's is a, a nun. Yes, she's not the someone's、church. sister, or、right. she might. Be, but、Could、when we、be. put sister at the beginning of a name,、mm-hmm. it means that they're a nun. Yeah.、Uh, so she was a nun who founded one of New York's first orphanages and also、oh, wow. adoption agencies. So a place where they take babies that don't have parents,、mm. and they find homes for them. Yeah. Or、uh, at least take, for them. Or at least、yeah. take care of them as they grow or up. Or take care of them.、Yeah. Yes. So that got me thinking about people who have made a difference in their communities. Ah,、oh, okay. So I've not been in Taiwan for that long. Can、mm-hmm. you think of anybody here who's maybe made a difference,、oh. or maybe someone else in the U.S.? Well, there's a lot of good charities、mm-hmm. here that have been、mm-hmm. set up by people. Sometimes they're very local. Sometimes they become international, right?、Mm-hmm. Like I think it was two guys who set up Greenpeace. The charity,、oh, really? yeah, and then、oh. of course now it is a big, large international、mm-hmm. organization doing important work. But other charities、mm-hmm. exist only in one city, maybe even in just、mm-hmm. one neighborhood, doing very specific jobs for the people around them.、But、right. All of these organizations、mm-hmm. are usually made up of people giving up their free time, giving、mm-hmm. up their own money. Only because they want to help make things better.、Mm-hmm. Right. We actually studied that、uh, a month or two ago.、Okay. Do you guys remember、uh, Toy Bank, New Taipei City?、Ah. We looked at that. Well, today we're going to look at another very good Taiwanese organization,、mm-hmm. specifically one very important person who is the person who started it.、Um, and today's article is going to be all about him. So let's get started. Sounds good. Reading. Remembering Chen Junlong and Kids Book House. On July 4th, 2019, Chen Junlong tragically passed away. Countless people mourned the loss of the 55-year-old social worker. This was not just because he was seen as a father figure by many in his community. Over the past 20 years. Chen had changed thousands of lives across his home county of Taichung. He did this through one of the most successful self-started programs in the region, Kids Book House. Chen's story began in 1999, when he returned to eastern Taiwan to care for his two young sons. In his hometown. He saw that many children were living in poverty and not receiving proper care. Some had not even had a proper meal in years. Chen wanted to make a difference. He began inviting local children to play and study in the courtyard of his home. Soon, it became so popular that there was no more space for the children there. The first book house was founded shortly after that, in 2006. Okay, so today's article is about a group called the Kids Book House. Kids Book House. Kids Book House. Okay. Okay,、uh, and it's not a library. It sounds、mm-hmm. like a library,、mm-hmm. right? Yeah. But、uh, it's about the man who started this group. We're going to、okay. tell you about what they did in a minute. But our article starts like this. It starts very sadly. It says on July fourth, two thousand and nineteen. Chen Junlang tragically passed away. Oh, that is sad. It is very sad, and that's why we use the word tragically. When something happens tragically, it is very sad or very unhappy, and it makes us feel that way that that thing has happened. So, for example, Rex looked for his puppy.、Um, sorry, John looked for his puppy Rex, but he never found him. Okay, there's a very simple sentence.、Mm-hmm. We don't have any feeling there. Now,、mm-hmm. if we add tragically to that sentence, and we say. John looked for his puppy Rex, but tragically he never found him. Now we just feel a lot sadder. Maybe、yeah. we're sad. Maybe John's sad. In the first sentence, John might not care. We don't、right. know. Or maybe the puppy could come home still. Or maybe the puppy still came home. But it、yeah. sounds a lot sadder when we say 
tragically. Yeah. Uh, and it's a very, a very good word to be used because we also saw the phrase pass away, didn't we? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Absolutely. So you're sort of reinforcing, you're mm -hmm. making it very clear that this is a sad thing. This is mm -hmm. bad news. There was no happy ending here. And of right. course, yeah, when someone passes away, well, that can be tragic. We can also mm -hmm. use tragic the adjective to just say that can be very sad. Mm -hmm. It can make people feel really, really down. When someone passes mm -hmm. away, this is just another way of saying they die. All right, mm -hmm. we often yes. use this term. Because the word die is a little strong, it's a little a powerful, unfeeling. it's a little mm -hmm. too tragic. So mm -hmm. often when it's someone that's close to you, you would say they pass away, all right? Mm -hmm. Now, if it's a terrible person from history, you wouldn't say Hitler passed away no, in 1940. Died. He died, mm -hmm. okay? But if you're giving news, if you're talking about someone close to you, someone mm -hmm. you have sort of caring, warm feelings about, you know, my, my grandmother passed away when I was in junior right. high school. Mm -hmm. You could say die. But it's just one of those words that you might want to be careful with around certain people. Mm -hmm. So pass away is a much safer, softer, kinder way of saying mm -hmm. someone died. We mm -hmm. also say they pass. Oh, they pass. They yes. pass mm -hmm. on. Mm -hmm. Something like that as yes. well. Mm -hmm. All right. Back to the article. It says countless people mourn the loss of the 55-year-old social mm -hmm. worker. All right. right. When someone dies, people will mourn the loss they of that will. person, even if they're not famous. Mm -hmm. Yes. They will mourn the loss because when we mourn someone, we're being very sad yeah. that they've died or we're thinking about them mm -hmm. after they've died. Yeah. So normally this happens straight after someone passes away. Sure, when you we, hear the news, mm -hmm. yeah. But we can also mourn someone on the anniversary, that's oh. the genealogy of their death. Right. Um, so we could mourn, for example, if uh, I today is the day that my dog passed away a year ago, mm -hmm. then I might mourn him today. I might remember my dog and think about the good times we had. There you together. go. Yeah, mm -hmm. and people mourn in different ways. Some might cry, mm -hmm. some might look at pictures, you know. Right. You can also mourn for famous people. If, you know, a yes. favorite uh, pop star, uh, a mm -hmm. singer of years die. You might mourn by listening mm -hmm. to their music. You're kind of working yeah. through these sad feelings you get mm -hmm. at a loss. And what is a loss? This noun basically means to lose something, all mm -hmm. right? The loss of something is the losing of something, mm -hmm. okay? Right. For example, we could say it took Mitch a few years to get over the loss of mm -hmm. his mother. Now, this isn't like the loss of his favorite watch or his mm -hmm. cell phone because he left it in a coffee shop. You can lose things, you know. Uh, it'll cost me a lot of money to recover from the loss of my brand new mm -hmm. cell phone. But generally, we're using it again to talk about losing mm -hmm. someone through dying through right. death, right? Mitch mm -hmm. didn't leave his mother at the supermarket and then come back and go, I can't find my mom. No. That's not what we're talking no. about. We're talking yes. about a permanent loss because mm -hmm. of death. Yes, when we're talking about loss uh, as a noun, yeah. which is uh, how it is in the article, That's right. we're normally talking about a very serious, yes. a very exactly. serious loss. Yeah. Now, our next line in the article is, this was not just because he was seen as a father figure by many in his community. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we've actually got the first half of an idea there, and we'll get back to where and finish that idea. But first, let's check some grammar. Okay, so we saw a grammar point here. Chen Junlang was seen as a father figure. We use the structure was seen as when we want to talk about what other people thought about a certain person, thing, or topic, and not necessarily what they look like. To use this structure, we use the passive form of see, that's the verb to be with the past participle of saw, and then the conjunction as, like this example. Abraham Lincoln is seen as a great leader by many people in the US. In other words, lots of people in the US see Abraham, uh, Abraham Lincoln or think of him as a great leader. We can also use this structure with several other verbs, all of which express opinion or judgment about something. So, for example, regard is another word we can use. Here's an example. The, uh, Mr. Wilson was regarded by his students as a great teacher. Or we could also talk about how someone is looked upon or looked on. Emily was looked upon as the best reporter at the newspaper by many of her co-workers. We could also use the word view. The Philippines is viewed as having some of the best beaches in the world. Now notice in this sentence I didn't say who views the Philippines as having great beaches. That's okay. 
Just, with, um, just as with other passive voice structures, you can skip the subject if it's not important or you think that the listener already knows who you're talking about. Uh, and lastly, there's one other word we can use this structure with, and that's think of, so to be thought of. Or, if we want to use the active voice, I thought of Max as a friend until he told my secret. I thought of Max as a friend until he told my secret. So there we saw we used the passive, the active voice instead of the passive voice, which is also okay. And we also had this word figure, mm -hmm. all right? Now here, a figure, this is a noun. Here we're using it as another way of saying a person, mm -hmm. especially sort of a well-known or important or very notable mm -hmm. person. We often actually put another word in front of it. A father figure mm -hmm. would be someone in your life or someone for a person or group of people who kind of had the role of a father. Now, it might right. not have been mm -hmm. the father who actually created you with your mm -hmm. mother, but that was the job they did in your life. They helped mm -hmm. raise you and teach you things and you know, took you places when you were a kid. Mm -hmm. So they kind of were like a father, but they weren't your actual real father. They were very important. Very, very important. important. We could also mm -hmm. say a, maybe a, a historical figure is someone mm -hmm. who's important in history. Mm -hmm. And our example sentence talks about a figure like that. Nelson Mandela was a towering figure in South African politics. Not Absolutely. very tall. Not, Not very, very tall. tall. We don't mm -hmm. mean he was tall like a tower. We mean he was really, really mm -hmm. important. Okay. Okay? Mm -hmm. Not just another leader, not just another president of the country, mm -hmm. but probably the most important president they've had. He made had. big changes to big his country changes. and to his community. And exactly. that is our next word. A community, that's a noun by the way, is a group of people who live in the same area or share a certain characteristic and are close because of it. Mm -hmm. So normally we can, talk, we can talk about communities, and this is how it's used in the article, to mean the people who live in one place. Mm -hmm. So Chen helped people in Taidong, for example. Uh, the people in his local community. That's what we're talking about there. Now, uh, we can also talk about, say, the black community mm -hmm. or the expat community. Sure. Um, and when we're talking about that, we're not talking about black or foreign people who all live in one place. We're talking about them as a community because they all share a characteristic right. and maybe they have very similar experiences. There you so, go. Mm -hmm. So our next line in the article is, over the past 20 years, Chun had changed thousands of lives across his home county of Taidong. Hmm. I still don't see how he's a father figure though. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Well, we're going to find out maybe as we read on. It says he did this. So he really mm -hmm. was important in Taidong and the area. He did this through one of the most successful self-started programs in the mm -hmm. region, Kids Book House. Ah, we've gone full circle. There you go. Mm -hmm. So now we're finding out exactly why Mr. Chen was so important. He had a self-started program in the region, in the Taidong region mm -hmm. or area. It was called Kids Book House. All right, so Kids Book House was the name of this program that Chen Zhilong started all by himself. That's why we called it a self-started program program started by himself. But what is a program? This noun basically means sort of a planned course. It's a planned schedule of activities or learning or something like that. If you go on holiday, you might have a daily program, a tour program. In the morning, we see this castle. In the afternoon, we have lunch here. Then we go to a museum. That's your program. If you think of your schedule for school, that would be your daily program of study. In the morning, you study math. And then even in the math class, you would have a program. In the first week, we learn about this, and then the second week, we do that. The idea of a program is it's planned, it's organized, it's laid out in a very logical way, and if you follow the program, an education program or a fitness program, if you follow all the steps and do all the things they want you to do, all the things that they recommend, then you should see some success at the end. You should see some good results if you follow this program because it's been planned out and it's designed to work. For example, this fitness program should get you ready to run a marathon. If you follow it and don't cheat by eating a lot of pizza, you should be able to run a marathon after six months or so. 
And we also saw the word region.、Mm. Now that's a noun, and a region is an area of land that can be bigger or smaller than a country,、mm. but it can't be a country. So Scandinavia, for example, is a big region that has three countries inside it: Sweden, Norway, and Denmark. However, the northwest part of Sweden, which is called Lapland, is also a region. So that might be a bit confusing. So,、um, so if you need some more help, we could also say that central Taiwan is a region, but so is the whole of East Asia. We can call、oh. the whole of East Asia a region as well. Now, our example sentence for region is: The Basque region of Spain has its own language and culture,、mm. which is not Spanish. No, 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 no. Not if you go to Barcelona, it's it's its own unique area、mm -hmm. within the bigger country of、mm -hmm. Spain.、Mm -hmm. So that would be a, a good、uh, way to call it a region.、Mm -hmm. All、exactly. right, back to the article. Back to the article. Chen's story began in 1999 when he returned to eastern Taiwan to care for his two young sons.、Hmm. Hmm. So care for when we care for someone, we look after them normally by giving them food, clothes, and a place to sleep. We take care of we them. We take care of them.、Yeah. We often say that parents care for their children because they spend time with them, feed them, and send them to school. That's what most parents do, right? Sure. However, you can also care for your pets as well. There you go.、Mm -hmm. You want to protect these things,、mm -hmm. help them grow, keep them safe, so you care for them. I guess you can care for things、mm -hmm. as well. Yes. But we often use it to talk about living things. People, children, pets,、mm -hmm. things like that. All right. So,、mm -hmm. Mr. Chen moved back to Taichung in 1999 to raise his kids in his hometown. It says in his hometown he saw that many children were living in poverty and not receiving proper care. That's very sad. And then it says、mm -hmm. some had not even had a proper meal. In years, so、wow. he moved back to this area, and he noticed that there were problems、mm -hmm. in his hometown. In his hometown, that's right? Got、mm -hmm. him. That's what got him to start what, helping. Exactly. And his hometown, by the way,、um, well, your hometown as well. We all have a hometown. We do. And a hometown is the town, village, or city that you grow up in. So, for example, the city I live in is Taipei, but my hometown in the UK is called Birmingham. That's because that's where I lived until I was 18 years old. Now, in some cultures, people also have an ancestral home as well, and that's a place that your family might have lived a long time ago and for hundreds of years. So,、mm -hmm. for example, Chloe lives in Singapore. Her family's ancestral home is in Chaozhou, China. But she's never been there. That's right.、Oh. You never actually have to go to your ancestral home. No, no. Unless you're interested in your family history, or maybe your、mm -hmm. grandparents might still live there. Right. Now we have one more example sentence for hometown. Jake left his hometown when he went away for university. And that's quite common, isn't it? Yeah,、mm -hmm. absolutely. People will often leave their hometown once they get older for school,、mm -hmm. uh, for work, and things like that. To get that. a proper education or a proper there job. And that's our next word. Okay, so proper is an adjective, and when we describe something as proper, we mean that it is suitable for a particular need or purpose. In the article, a proper meal is a meal that is big enough to make someone feel full or hambao. It also might have lots of vegetables in it and not be too sugary or salty. So it's good for you. It's filling. It's a proper meal. Now remember, we only use proper in front of a noun, so a proper meal or a proper conversation as well. For example, if we don't use proper in front of a noun, if we use it somewhere else in the sentence, that changes its meaning to something else. Also, proper can be used as an adverb as well, properly. And when we do something properly, we do it well or completely. For example, write your homework properly, spell it out, spell it well, and use proper grammar. Now we can also talk about the negative form of proper, and that's very easy. We just add I M to the front. Improper.、Uh, so, for example, improper behavior is behavior that is not good. Maybe it's rude. Maybe、uh, it makes people uncomfortable. So, improper behavior. Now, our example sentence for proper is: The Italian chef showed the cooking class the proper way to make pasta. Very, very、mm -hmm. interesting. So, of course, he saw these problems. It really moved him, and it got、mm -hmm. him to do something. It says、mm -hmm. Chen wanted 
to make a difference.、Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. When、mm-hmm. people、uh, work with charities, when they set up their own charity or volunteer, we often say that. Why are you doing this? I don't know. I just want to make a difference.、Mm-hmm. I want to do something good for my community and you know improve things in even a small、mm-hmm. way. So how did he begin? Well, he began inviting local children to play and study in the courtyard of his home, just to give them somewhere to go. Exactly, it's a his good, courtyard. There you go. That's、mm-hmm. a good thing to do when the kids are just、mm-hmm. hanging out in the street. What is a courtyard? This is a sort of a special feature of a certain、mm-hmm. style of building.、Mm-hmm. Some buildings are kind of built in a square or a circle, and in that open space in the middle, that's what we would call the courtyard.、Mm-hmm. It's probably surrounded on all sides or on. Most sides、uh, by the building. Back in the、mm-hmm. old days, it might be where you kept your horses, or the、right. horses would sort of, you know, do their stuff, and people would use them,、uh, use the courtyard to, to、mm-hmm. climb on their horse and stuff. But these days, it basically just means it's an open area. I actually、mm-hmm. have a courtyard in my apartment、oh. building. There's just, you know, there's a few plants and a tree and a、mm-hmm. broken water fountain.、Um, a bit of space. A bit of space、mm-hmm. in within a building, but it's still open. Uh, mm-hmm. To、uh, you know, to the sky, it's not enclosed.、Mm-hmm. But unless you live in a very、mm-hmm. big fancy house, your courtyard、mm-hmm. isn't going to be that big.、No. And that seems to be what happened in our article because、mm-hmm. our next line is: soon it became so popular that there was no more space for the children there.、Oh. So so many children were coming, there was no more space for them in the courtyard. Okay, yeah,、mm-hmm. there are about four or five kids、right. who play in the courtyard of my building.、Mm-hmm. That's fine, but they do get a little bit noisy.、Mm-hmm. Anyways, it says the first. Book house was founded shortly after that in 2006. So just、mm-hmm. like a successful businessman, Mr. Chen was a successful charity、uh, leader,、mm-hmm. um, and basically he was too successful, so they had to find somewhere else to go. So、mm-hmm. shortly after setting up this basic idea. He、uh, he founded the book house.、Mm-hmm. Shortly after, this is an expression we can use to just sort of, sort of show you the history of something, the timeline、mm-hmm. of something when things happen. If something happens and then a little bit of time, but not a lot of time passes, that's when、mm-hmm. we can use the expression shortly after.、Mm-hmm. I sat down on my chair and in my chair, and shortly after, the telephone rang.、Mm-hmm. Maybe a minute or two later,、mm-hmm. or a little while after, a little or while, not long after, not long enough. Anyway, so. Chen was very successful、yes. with his charity. He's、yes. gone to bigger premises, a bigger venue,、mm-hmm. um, and we're going to find out more about、uh, his charity in our day two、uh, article. But for now, let's go to our for you chat. For you chat. Okay, so for our for you、mm. chat question, we've、yes. got a question that is highlighting the good people in our communities.、Right. Remember that word, community. So our question is, who has made a difference in your community? How did they make things better? Interesting. Well, I grew up in Montreal、mm-hmm. in Canada. That's my hometown.、Um, mm-hmm. And there's a guy there. Actually, he died not too long ago, which、oh. was very sad. But his charity. Is still going. It's called Dans la Rue,、mm-hmm. which means in the street,、mm-hmm. and it in works. French. Yep,、mm-hmm. in French, and it works to help、um, uh, homeless kids, young people,、oh, okay. mm-hmm. people under, I guess, the age of twenty-one、mm-hmm. who are homeless, who need a place to go. Montreal winters can be very cold, very cold so this、right. can、mm-hmm. save people's lives in、mm-hmm. the winter. But Father Emmett Johns is better known as Pops. To、mm-hmm. the whole community, he was、mm-hmm. kind of a Santa Claus-looking guy with a, a nice white beard. And、mm-hmm. uh, as a kid, we used to raise money at our school for it. And later on, some of my friends actually ended up working full time、oh, for、wow. Don La Rue,、mm-hmm. and I believe still do. And they've been doing stuff since. Before I can remember the、mm-hmm. 80s or the 1970s, 1980s, they've been helping out kids、mm-hmm. in、uh, Montreal. There we go,、you know? saving lives in Montreal. That's I mean, that's、right. that's a pretty big difference、yeah. in a community. Saving lives and making a better future、mm-hmm. for kids who、uh, need a bit of luck. Right. Yeah. So, what have、uh, people been doing to improve people's lives or improve, make a difference in your community in Taipei or around Taiwan? You guys can talk about that now. And we'll be back tomorrow with more information about Kids Book House. For English for you, I'm Seb. I'm Mike. And we'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye bye. Remembering Chen Junlong and Kids Book House. On July 4th, 2019, Chen Junlong tragically passed away. 
countless people mourned the loss of the 55-year-old social worker. This was not just because he was seen as a father figure by many in his community. Over the past 20 years, Chen had changed thousands of lives across his home county of Taidong. He did this through one of the most successful self-started programs in the region, Kids Book House. Chen's story began in 1999, when he returned to eastern Taiwan to care for his two young sons. In his hometown, he saw that many children were living in poverty and not receiving proper care. Some had not even had a proper meal in years. Chen wanted to make a difference. He began inviting local children to play and study in the courtyard of his home. Soon, it became so popular that there was no more space for the children there. The first book house was founded shortly after that, in 2006. Vocabulary Review Loss The loss of her father was one of the most difficult things Marie had ever experienced. Figure Nelson Mandela is one of the most important figures in South Africa's history. Program Jonas wanted to help with the city's homeless problem and set up a program to help people in need. Region Many people think that Taidong County is one of Taiwan's most beautiful regions. Hometown Every year, Max returns to his hometown to celebrate Chinese New Year with his family. Proper You need to wear the proper shoes for this hike. If not, it'll be very difficult for you. Tragically Mourn Community Courtyard Yishan 或上网查询 网址是 www.english4u.net www.english4u.net